Hello all, welcome in this SAP tutorial of the WBS capitalization process. This is purely a learning tutorial. What is the WBS capitalization process? Whatever the cost we have posted against our WBS should be capitalized in a certain assets, right? Whatever the material we have planned, whatever the services we have taken from the external vendor, the borrowing cost, miscellaneous cost, any survey cost, any miscellaneous cost, right? It should be posted against WBS and that should be capitalized. What is the steps for the WBS capitalization process? It's involved comprises of the four steps, mainly four steps. Uh, booked in whatever the cost we posted against the WBS should be booked in PS clearing account, that is. 5090101 case in my case. After that, CG88 transaction code will run and transfer the cost from the PS clearing account to our EUC account, that is CWIP account, right? After that, we need to create an asset and make a settlement rule in transaction code CJIC, right? And transfer the percentage of the cost percentage of the total cost or the certain amount. We have both option, percentage of the cost or any certain amount, right? After the making the successful settlement rule, this next execute the transaction code CZ88 with the full settlement and post the cost in asset. Verify the same in the transaction code fs 10 by putting the uh, your GL account, right? So these are the theoretical process. We will do in the practical manner. So let's start, right? Execute the transaction code CZ88. This is our project, okay? In the WBS field, we need to fill the WBS element that is dot project dot zero one right test CFA WBS one right click on the with hierarchy and with orders settlement period is twelve month of March is twelve asset value is thirty first March twenty twenty four fiscal year is twenty twenty three and processing type is automatic click on the test run detail list and execute okay settlement executed right in test run mode after re removing the test run execute again and settlement successfully executed right now we are going to check our settlement transaction in jps underscore w gap because uh, this is the customized transaction code in my case, but you can also check it in FS10 by putting the PS clearing ZLR AUCZL, right? Successfully cost posted in our AUC asset, right? In CWIP. So this is the way how we can successfully post our first step of CJ88. Now in CJIC. This is the CJIC screen, and uh, we need to we need to put the WBS element here in the CJIC screen and execute. Right? This is the cost 11419.02. See? Right? And here you can choose the fixed asset, right? And settlement receiver number. You can fill your asset number. Here you can fill your asset number. And here we have both options percentage of the cost or amount. And you can maintain so many assets here, right? Green signal is there successfully settlement plant. Okay. See? And our cost is 11419.02. Okay. Now the next step is the second step of the CG88, right? The same, you have to fill the WBS element in the WBS column. Settlement period is 12 and posting period is 12. 
asset value date is this and here you need to choose the full settlement detail list test run remove and you can execute the the cg88 with the full settlement okay settlement executed and now you can check the same in the jpsw cap r in fs10 right Execute the transaction code JetPSWCAP. This is the customized transaction code in our company, in our case. Okay. Fill the WBS element, right? See, this is the AUC asset, actual cost, fixed asset number, fixed asset cost. 1141.9.02 is no AUC amount, no unsettled amount, no pending cost is there on the WBS. Okay. You can execute the FS and I'm putting the uh, GL of 5090101. The business area you can put and execute here. Okay, see by double clicking on this entry. See, this is the WBS. This cost is posted in 11419. See, the PS clearing GL is credit and the AUC asset is debit. The first case of the CG88. PS clearing credit and AUC asset debit. AUC account is debit. Okay. Successfully cost transferred from PS clearing to AUC. Now the next step is the BA is the same. And our GL is 2191000. The same cost is here. See the second second step of the CG88, right? Second step of the CG88. See. Our AUC asset or AUC account is credited and our fixed asset is debited with the cost of 11419. See what is the beauty of this SAP account? See, successfully transferred the cost, right? This is our project and this is our network, and we have successfully transfer the whole capitalization process from the WBS creation, uh, WBS uh, MIGO SES cost to the asset GL, right? So thank you for watching this SAP uh, learning tutorial. Have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe this channel if you think this is a useful SAP tutorial for you, please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends because knowledge sharing is very important. Knowledge sharing is gearing. Have a good day and great learning.